decline in legitimacy and sense of inclusion is the reason leadership in government is now constantly questioned in Nigeria. This was the position of ethnic leaders from different parts of the country at a public debate on federal character, restructuring and rotation of presidential power in Nigeria. Correspondent Habid Elawal reports. Federal character has remained a policy in the nation's constitution. It is a principle designed to ensure all segments of society are carried along in governance. To allay fears by ethnic nationalities of marginalization and give everybody a sense of belonging, the federal character principle was inserted in the 1979 constitution. The principle has been breached by successive Nigerian government, which has heightened cries of marginalization. As a result of this, Restructuring has recently become a buzzword, with some ethnic nationalities fervently insisting the nation must return to a true federal system. Nigeria adopted the federal system after independence in 1960 to assuage the fears of domination expressed by over 200 ethnic minorities. Over the years, major ethnic groups have lamented lack of rotation of power, which has fostered disunity. Ethnic nationalities from different parts of the country are represented at this public debate on federal character, restructuring and rotation of presidential power in Nigeria. This coalition believes that only a symbolic gesture of reconciliation can enact national unity. Nigerians should learn their lesson. I'm not a politician, I'm a politician, but I don't belong to any political party. But I know Five to five and a half years ago, there was a slogan. Everybody in Nigeria key to that slogan. Let it also be known that this event is not going to be a one-off. The national competition is planned by this coalition to last for at least two years until a renewed national understanding and common ground for peace and unity are firmly established in our country. Some believe that a sense of legitimacy and inclusion is the way forward rather than who sits on the seat of power. But ultimately what matters more than legality is legitimacy. Because many regimes, many countries collapse under the weight of declining legitimacy because some people feel disincorporated from that society. It is expected that the issue of power rotation, federal character and restructuring will have been addressed at the end of this discourse. There seems to be no consensus of opinion regarding the issue of federal character and power rotation. With divergent views, one will agree that Nigeria needs a constitution that can guarantee peace and unity of every segment of the society. Habib Alawal, TVC News, Abuja. Habida joins me now from Abuja. Abuja, help us have a better perspective of what was discussed. What actually are they suggesting as a way of achieving fair rotation among the different regions in Nigeria? Well, at this public um, discourse, there were divergent views and opinions with some people backing the fact that secession through federalism and the rotation in power, especially the presidential seat, who becomes um, the president after a particular region leaves the seat was also centered at this um, public debate. While some people say it should rotate across the um, ethnic, um, major ethnic groups in the country, others are saying that the fact that all um, citizens in the country should have a sense of inclusion and uh, legitimacy, so to say, is uh, much needed for peace to reign in the country. And people shouldn't dwell more on who or who, which tribe occupies the seat of power. And also with regards to the fact that some federal appointments, they say where um, some particular ethnic tribe seems to be benefiting more from federal appointments, they advise that people should look away from this um, um, kind of sentiment and um, rather preach for peace and unity for the country. All right, peace. Thank you for talking to us, Habida.